Welcome back to my channel. This is Sir Paya. Sa mga bago pa lang sa channel ko, ako po yung nagtuturo ng basic programming kung paano gumawa ng system from the scratch. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and pakipin doon sa notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga bagong upload tulad nito. So update tayo sa ginawa nating POS and inventory system using C Sharp and MS SQL Server Database. So sa records natin, Ayan, so maka-display na tayo ng cancel order, pero hindi pa tayo makapag-print uh, preview. So today, yung gagawin natin ng tutorial is paano natin i-print yung cancel order na galing dito sa ating database. Okay? So sa mga previous na tutorial natin, so nagagawa na tayo ng uh, maraming reports. So, dito natin nilagay siya kay at uh, form um, inventory report. Ayan. So, sa ating form inventory report, so marami dito um, module. Ayan. Sa pagpili. Sa pagpadisplay ng record. O so, print ang records. Like, for example, the sold item. Ayan the uh, top ceiling and so on. Okay, so punta muna tayo kay records tapos dito tayo kay so copy natin to cancel order lagay natin dito then ito is tanggalin natin okay, so back to records and lagyan natin to Okay, so, ayan. So, this is uh, data grid 5. F7 tayo. Then, check natin si data grid 5. Six, uh, six, three, four, five. So, it, ayan. So, ito yung statement na Uh, gagamitin natin mamaya. So, punta muna tayo kay Inventory Reports. Ayan. F7 tayo. Tapos, so, copy natin to. Yung pinaka huling statement. Ayan. Then, again, natin dyan. Then, palitan natin to ng load um, cancel order ok tapos ayan so ito palitan natin ito mamaya so ayan sya then balik tayo kay records so view cancel order so pin natin yung skills run natin Then, yung database natin, so, yung name niya is POS uh, Demo DB. Punta tayo kay T-Ball, ano? So, check natin. Okay, so, punta muna tayo dito kay View Canceled Order. So, punta tayo kay Views, and then View Canceled Orders. Tapos, column. Copy na lang na rin to. Uh, ayan, so ito sila lahat is lagay natin sa ating data set ok so punta tayo kay data set ayan tapos so right click add data table then change natin yung name to dt cancel tapos yung trans no 
trans mo yung pinakaunan din p code hindi trans mo add colon din the p code a uh, pay description the price pay description and the price the quantity total UTY total uh, state with by cancel by make sure kung ano yung uh, column name natin is ito rin yung column na nagamitin natin sa ating data set reason then action so yan, tapos save natin ok, so para ma-update yung ating data set so pwede natin siyang i-close then punta tayo kay inventory report design tapos uh, click tayo ano click natin to tapos add new report tapos data set and then go to uh, cancel next natin tapos ilagay natin dito lahat na ipadisplay natin the p code, p description the price, the quantity the total yung date, wait by, cancel by, yung reason, tapos yung action. Next natin. Okay, tapos select natin si Merrick. Ayan. So, tapos right click natin report properties, change natin to landscape. So, yung width niya is 11 inches. So, adjust natin. So, this is 0.5. So, ito is gawin natin 0 yung right. Ito is pin 5. Pin 5. So, meaning yung, yung uh, width natin is size na, eh, eh, limit natin siya hanggang 10 inches lang. So, right click view ruler. So, hanggang 10 inches lang siya. Hanggang dito lang. Okay. So, kung mahaba siya, so pwede naman natin instead na liter, change natin to legal. So, 14 inches na siya. So, same pa rin. So, 14 inches, so adjust na din siya to 13. So, hanggang dito sa 13. So, hindi natin siya pwede ilagay sa 14. Then, pag ilagay natin siya is ano, mag-overlap yung uh, page natin. So, this is transaction number. So, pwede natin siyang uh, liitan ng kunti. So, liitan natin siya. So, example, set natin to 9. Tapos, ito, change natin to 8. Okay, so this is transaction number. Trans no the P code description and price in quantity in the total uh, in date then grade uh, by cancel by Tapos yung reason. Tapos yung action. Ayan. So, adjust natin yung size. Sa so, pay code, siguro adjust natin yung lahat, lahat ng konti. Yung price, adjust natin. Yung quantity. Yung total. So, yung total at saka si price. So, nakaright align siya. Ah, dahil it is um, a pera. State, paid by, cancel by reason. So, siguro sa reason is, tasan natin ng konti, hanggang 13. 
Okay, ayan. Click tayo, add parameter. And then, uh, P, P date. So, add, add tayo na uh, date natin for the date covered. Right click tayo, add header. Tapos, insert. Insert natin to. Hanggang dito. Tapos, uh, change natin yung name ng um, cancel orders. Tapos, enter natin. Bug natin. Ayan. The next natin gagawin is ang parameter natin, lagay natin dito. So, siguro, isolate lang natin ng konti yung parameter natin. Center, tatutan natin ng konti. Ayan. Ayan. So, save natin. So, this is report 4. So, palitan natin siya ng instead na report 4. Palitan natin ng RPT. RPT ah uh, cancel RPT cancel okay ayan save natin tapos sa ating inventory report dito tayo sa sa code natin so ito is palitan natin ng RPT tapos cancel so pay date param okay so tama yan tapos ito is CDT Check natin yung ating data set. So, DT cancel. This is DT cancel. DT cancel. Okay. Tapos, save natin. Ayan. Tapos, dito sa ating uh, records, save, save in tayo. So, pwede natin siyang kopyahin. So, i-copy natin to Ito yung magagamit natin to Ayan, copy natin. Tapos, back to record design. Print preview. So, tatawagin lang natin si... Ayan. So, FRM... Uh, inventory FRM inventory report FRM inventory report and then we have the string param so mamaya lagyan natin siya if that uh, load cancel order tapos ipasa natin yan then sa parameter pasa natin si param Tapos, colon. Okay? So, sa param natin is, kunin natin yung data and figure niya. Ito. So, pwede natin itong kukunin. Copy natin. Copy. What error? Param mo. Okay. So, unused. So, lagyan natin dito. Dito cover did covered again so did covered nothing again Okay. The next natin is should dialog tayo. If that should dialog. Okay. Tapos balik tayo dito kay reports. RPT cancel. And copy natin yung part. Okay. Natin dito. Okay. Na hindi mali go open na yung parang okay so hindi to kasama ito lang the rpt 
cancel so CRP if we cancel din lagay natin dito kay bin yan kay bin ayun meron na kasi dito sa ating kasi dito sa ating uh, inventory report so yung location niya is under sa report tapos RPT um, cancel that on DLC so try natin iparan yung program Tapos, records, then records. So, sulit natin example. So, din. Uh, load data, then print review. Mm -hmm. Paid it. Okay. So, si paid it natin is mali. Check natin. Dito sa ating cancel. So, malaki yung din natin dito. Tapos, dito sa report natin. Um, malaki yung P. Uh, yeah. speed it so again run the program admin 1 2 3 4 and then we have the records so 2019 load data and then print review ok so ayan meron tayong records kita natin dito yung records ayan the description so medyo malate yung description ah so adjust natin so once na mag-adjust tayo adjust natin siya tapos yung description is makihan natin ng konti wait so So, save natin, save. And after natin save, of course, yeah. i-copy natin yung updated na cancel na nandito sa ating um, file. Tapos, ilagay natin dito sa ating report folder. Okay? And then, run natin yung program. Tapos records, and then 2019, new data, print review. So, ayan, ayan, meron tayong records, no? So, meron tayong reports, ating records. Okay, so, I hope meron kayong natutunan sa bago nating tutorial. So again, don't forget to subscribe my channel and happy coding everyone.